Ah, molu en Afrika. I was on my way to a golf game at on Sunday morning when my phone rang and our PR person at Generations informed me about the tragic end of my friend, Joe Mafela. Um, I know Joe from a long time ago. When I was about 18 years old, me and my brother Peter were in the same theater company as Joe. We acted in a play called Real News. And Real News was a play. It was not a film, as one paper indicated the other day. It was a play written by a British playwright, Peter Howard. And Joe was our star, and me and Peter were operating the lights. And uh, our first job, uh, we had a number of jobs, but the pinnacle of, uh, of my debut experience was with Joe at Mofulo Hall in Soweto. And I remember it like it was yesterday. Because I remember, now Joe is playing the role of an editor in the newsroom, okay. Now, it's a busy newsroom, a print newsroom, and uh, Joe is holding forth as the editor, talking to a number of reporters, and the copy boy runs in, and as the copy boy runs in, he knocks over a chair, and the chair falls, and all of us are stunned as to what's going on because this is not supposed to be in the scene. And Joe turns to the copy boy and said, pick it up. And the copy boy is so nervous, he said, I said, pick it up. And the guy picks it up and goes on and does what he does. And Joe resumes his dialogue where he had started before that uh, chair fell. That to me was the first instance I saw of an example in improvisation. And I mention this because the next time I heard about an incident like that, because I read a story of uh, Happy Hancock talking about how he is on the stage and they're preparing for Miles Davis to come in. And Happy Hancock is on piano, Ron Carter is on the bass, and Tony Williams is on the drums and they are cooking, and Miles steps in and starts playing and Herbie Hancock hits a wrong note. And poor Herbie Hancock stops. He almost has a heart attack. And Miles Davis gets into that wrong note, penetrates it, and turns it around and makes it something beautiful. Which is the same thing that Joe Mafella did. When that chair fell, Joe Mafella said, pick it up. He, he went into a wrong note. He entered a wrong note into it, turned it around, and made it something really beautiful. And then, so, and I, I think I feel like really privileged having worked with Joe Mafella because I came full circle with him. Because when I came back from California after a 21 year period in exile in America, I, he heard I was around and he invited me to a, 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 a studio out in, in, in Midrand. And I was so excited to see him. I said, hey Joe, man, man. We're going to have to make a film. And, uh, and unfortunately, that never happened. But the next thing, I end up working with him in generations. And when I work with him in generations, because now he has firmly established himself as a comedic actor. He comes as a dramatic actor, which a lot of people didn't know about him. That Joe is such a versatile actor in comedy, straight drama, and you know, what a beautiful, really beautiful gentleman. And then, you know, I think about Joe, I've been thinking about him since he died. You know, I said, hey, you know, the thing about Joe Mafala, which is also so amazing, is that, you know, he built the SABC, <laughs> you know, and he, he built, he, he, he truly did. He, he brought audiences to the SABC. You know, when you bring audiences, I mean, the SABC is just a, a brick and mortar. Without the content and the, and the people who bring in the audiences, it's just brick and mortar. But, you know, Joe brought audiences, you know. And I said, wow, you know. You know, and I said, and I'm so, you know, involved with this passing of Joe. I said, 
you know what? We're going to have to do something in a very significant way, you know, to recognize Joe. You know, Joe and I and the company in Generations were working out of a studio called Studio 5 inside the SAPC. It's, it's the biggest studio at Hanley. And I said, you know what? And I wrote to the head of TV. I said, you know what? My suggestion is that this Studio 5 must be named the Joe Mafella Studio. You know? And I said, you know, please pass this on to your, to your superiors. Because, you know, the, and, and, the, and there's a tradition in this sort of things. Like in this big studio in Rome there where they make movies and stuff, uh, Fellini had a studio where he worked all the time. And after he passed, the funeral was in that studio, and guess what? After he, he moved on, that studio is still is called the Fellini Studio. And Studio 5 must be called the Joe Maffella Studio. <laughs>